When it comes to security cameras, there's nothing more annoying than spending hours and hours searching through your footage trying to find that one specific event. And even after all that time spent searching, it's possible that you might accidentally miss something, especially if you have the camera set to two times or four times playback speed. This is where Uniview AccuSearch comes in. Uniview's new AccuSearch function allows you to highlight a person or vehicle either during the live view or playback and quickly find matches across all your cameras. In order for it to work, AccuSearch requires two things. You must have a Uniview AI NVR from their Dash IQ series and a Uniview camera that supports ultra motion detection. Most Uniview cameras released within the past three or four years already support ultra motion detection, but only a few of their NVR models have AI support. Currently, AccuSearch is available on the NVR 502, NVR 504, and NVR 508-IQ series video recorders. AccuSearch should be enabled by default on the Dash IQ series AI video recorders, but you can make sure by logging into the NVR, opening the smart menu, and checking the analyzer config settings. Make sure that it's set to AccuSearch human body slash motor vehicle, and not one of the other options. Also, you want to make sure that you have either ultra motion detection or smart intrusion prevention, such as line crossing or intrusion, enabled on your cameras. If you forget to set this up, AccuSearch will not work because while it is the NVR that does the analysis, it's the camera that tells the NVR, hey, this is a person or a vehicle, so please make a note of them for later. When you first set up the detection zone, make sure that it covers all of the areas you want to collect information from. For example, on camera D3, I've set my detection area to be within our plaza only because I don't want AccuSearch to perform a match on every single vehicle passing by. I only care about vehicles and people that are entering the plaza. And if you're not sure how to set up ultra motion detection, you can check out our previous video on the Uniview ultra motion detection. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Once AccuSearch is enabled, all cameras will start collecting metadata from the objects in the scene. After you let it run for a couple hours, you can start searching for matches. Let me show you how it works. To use AccuSearch, you need to be viewing your cameras either through the web interface or directly on the NVR using a mouse and monitor. Support for EasyStation will be added in a few months, but for now, I'll show you how to use it on the web interface. To start with, I'm going to log in to my AI NVR using the IP address in the search bar, and then I'm going to select one of my cameras in the live view. Now that we have our camera in live view, we can see the AccuSearch button at the bottom right. And again, make sure that you enable AccuSearch first, or you may not see this icon. But when we click the AccuSearch button, we will see a yellow box on the screen. And it's saying that we need to uh, drag over the vehicle or person to search. So what I'm going to do is just select this vehicle here in the middle and then click OK. Now it's going to quickly calculate and immediately what this shows us is it shows us all the different times that this vehicle was spotted um, by the camera. So we can see that here the vehicle was at nine o'clock. And if we choose um, play, we can see the video of this vehicle parking at that spot at nine o'clock. And we can also see at, again at 11 o'clock, it looks like the vehicle again was parking in this spot. And one thing to note is that we searched on camera D1, but it's showing us footage on camera D6. So it's able to search through all our cameras and find the same vehicle at different times. And if I even go through different clips, I should be able to find the vehicle here at the back of the warehouse. You see, we were able to find this vehicle in a different location um, very, very quickly without like any effort required. All we had to do was use AccuSearch. And you can see as we go further into the search, like as we go from page two to page three, we start to find matches that are not quite our vehicle. So obviously this is a different vehicle. This is a different vehicle. So the most similar results are going to be at the first page and the second page. And then later on, it's going to be totally different results, but you still might find some matches here. Like here we found a match 
and this is obviously the same vehicle. In addition to live view, you can also trigger an AccuSearch from the playback menu. So if we select one of our cameras um, from playback, and I jump to around 917, I should be able to find myself here. This is helpful if you have like a target, like a person or vehicle, and you want to see everywhere that they've been. So again, we choose AccuSearch from the bottom right, and then we highlight the, the target of interest. And we click OK, and we just give it a few seconds to search. And again, it searches through all of the cameras. You can see, again, it matched me here at the back of the office, and again here, and at the front of the office, and even during different times. Immediately, we're able to find all the places where I've been through the camera and if we want to we can even um, check these different clips we can export them we can export the video as well and we can save it to a location on our desktop or we can also click export all which will give us all the clips that match and we can save them on a file and a folder on the desktop one question that i had while testing the accusearch function was how well does it work if i change my clothes so what I did was I walked around the building once while wearing my uh, beige jacket and then I walked around again while wearing a grey jacket and then finally I walked around again while I was simply wearing my dark colored shirt. Just to show you the results, if we do an search on myself while I was wearing a grey coat, we will find all matches of myself while I was wearing this grey coat, but it's not going to match to when I was wearing the beige coat or while I was just wearing my dark shirt. What this shows us is that AccuSearch is fundamentally uh, using the people's clothing as one of the main search classifiers. And also that means that you cannot accurately use AccuSearch to find someone between different days because they may change their clothing style. Obviously the next day they may wear something completely different. So AccuSearch works best within uh, the same day when you're searching for people and preferably around the same time as well. Um, but it does work very well. So you can see that while I was wearing the gray coat, it found me at the front of the office, it found me at the back of the office, and uh, overall it was quite accurate. So there you have it. AccuSearch is a brand new way to search through footage on your NVR reducing the time it takes to find a person or vehicle from dozens of minutes to potentially just a few seconds. Of course, you still need to find one clip with the person or vehicle that you're looking for, but once you find them, AccuSearch will quickly find matches of them throughout all of your cameras. And if you had 20 or 30 cameras, this is something that could have taken potentially hours, but with AccuSearch, it only takes a few seconds. Also, there are zero licensing or subscription fees required to use AccuSearch. It's included for free with all of Uniview's AI-IQ series NVRs. Anyways, that's all I wanted to cover in this quick overview of the new AccuSearch function. Now you know how it works, what it can do, and which devices it's compatible with. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, but otherwise, Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.